practice today? Trent Brown has a calf strain. He did not practice. Hope to have him uh, out here tomorrow. He's uh, in a training room getting treatment. Was that something that happened in the Bears game? He's uh, had a calf strain uh, since Monday. He tweaked it on Monday here on the practice field. Um, hopefully he's ready to go, but he's getting treatment right now. We're aware of it, and uh, we're looking into it. I'm not going to say anything else other than we're aware of it. John, it's been a couple days, obviously, but I'm curious to know, um, coming off the bye week, what is it? What do you? How do you attack bye weeks? Do you? take some time away to recharge, or you still knee deep in preparation for the next week, but typically by weeks each year, how do you spend most of your time? Well, we try to get the players some time to get rejuvenated. It's a long season. Uh, we obviously made some roster moves, so we were here working. Uh, we have a new receiver. We've got some new people here on our practice squad, and we have a tough schedule. This road trip won't end. Uh, we're at Green Bay this week. We're playing a great defense. Uh, obviously one of the best quarterbacks to ever play, so there's no time to rest. How serious do you consider Trent's injury? Are you worried about him playing at Green Bay? I'm not going to get into it yet. I, I'll find out, but he's uh, unable to go today. Tyrell Williams unable to go today. Uh, it's nice to have Gabe Jackson out there. We're excited about that. He has a foot problem, Vic. He has a uh, planner. Uh, fascia, we believe it's plantar fasciitis or fascia, whatever that is, he has. It's not getting much better. John, John you expect Gabe to play this week? We're going to see how he feels after practice, certainly, and tomorrow. He uh, took quite a few reps on Monday, took a little more here on Wednesday. We'll put the pads on tomorrow, and uh, we're going to listen to him. Obviously, Denzel Good was not here today. He was excused for a personal matter. He'll be here tomorrow. Um, so obviously, we're excited to have Gabe back. Hopefully, we're at full strength with he and Trent on the right side. Is that it, guys? Zay Jones. What do you see? What do you like about him? I like Zay Jones. We like Zay Jones at East Carolina. And uh, obviously, with the number of injuries that we have had, uh, we've had a lot of things happen to our wide receiver core. So uh, we've been on the lookout to acquire some good young players. Can't say enough about the job uh, Trevor has done as our returner, as our flanker. And to get Zay Jones for what we feel like we gave up is a risk well worth taking, and we'll see if it pays any dividends. But he's a good young player. He's got some size and speed and was a very, very productive receiver. So uh, we're happy to have him. How much of the Packers uh, changed offensively with Matt LaFleur? And are they doing different things with Rodgers? Or do you look the same to you? Yeah, they're doing a lot of different things with the structure of their plays. Uh, but Rodgers is still working the snap count. You see him beat Denver with the hard count. His magnificent scrambling, creating offense is uncommon. It's just, it's just unbearable to watch. <laughs> I hate watching this guy. He's... Uh, He's fun to watch, but he's really not fun to watch when you got to play against him. He still has a very quick trigger, deadly accurate, a lot of overall athleticism, and a great competitor. You saw it again the other night. How has your O line gelled over the last few weeks? It seems like it's played. We're still a lot gelling. Better. I mean, we haven't had any continuity since I've been here, really. Uh, we're hoping we get our right guards solved. We're hoping our incognito can go wire to wire, but we've had a number of guards. Uh, we've had Trent in and out of the lineup a little bit, so uh, hopefully, you know, we gel here and stay gelled for a while. John, with Montez's suspension upheld and Justin Phillips, the only middle linebacker on the roster right now, is that how concerning is that for you, or does it matter because you guys are mostly in a in a nickel anyway? You don't really need that. You got to have linebackers, you know. Anytime someone comes out and wants to play, you know, old-fashioned big boy football, you got to have linebackers. Losing Burfick's big. I'm still not happy about it, you know, it's just not happy about it. I, I realize we, we believe in player safety here, I'll say that. You know, we coach it, we believe in it, and we, we really stress it. But 12 games, I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about it. But uh, it is what it is, and we'll get Burris and Dakota Allen and whoever the next man up is, we'll get them ready to go. Has Trent been every bit as good on the field as you hoped he would be? Who? Trent, everybody yeah. tackled. I mean, the video's out there. He's a real deal. He's a complete 
uh, difference maker for us. And the left tackle's playing better than he's ever played. I think incognito and the stability we've had at left guard has helped them. He's stronger, he's, he's, he's better versed in the offense. Both tackles have been a strength of our team. You had Ingold at the Senior Bowl before you ever brought him here. Did he jump out at you then? And there was the sideline play when he hit the Stanford guy. Yeah, we love Ingold at the Senior Bowl. We stamped a bunch of Raiders stickers on his helmet. <laughs> he was really ticked off he didn't get drafted. And um, if I'd done anything right since I've been here coaching the Raiders, it was a recruiting call I made to Ingold. You know, I'm really happy about getting him here. He played quarterback at high school in Green Bay. This is a big game for him. Uh, I'm trying to get some video of him throwing the ball, but all I have is him handing off. But uh, we're really thrilled with this kid. He's uh, got a real presence about him um, and a huge upside. The homecoming for him, also a little bit of a homecoming for Trevor. Anything he can do to kind of help you guys prepare? Yeah, you know, Kaiser's tried to help us. You know, uh, Trevor's giving us a little scouting report. And the scouting reports are all the same. They're really good. <laughs> Green Bay is a really good team in, in all phases. So it'll be a challenge once again for us.